Mr. Smokey is here. Mr. Smokey is here. Oh, he looks bad. <laughs> Mr. Smokey, how are you doing today? I feel like shit, Doc. Well, nothing to worry about. That's what I'm here for. Well, I guess no one can help me. Not only if you want to help yourself. I know where this is going. Yes, I have stopped smoking. Really? <clears throat> Since when? Just this morning. Good. It's never too late. Um, but is it for real this time? Okay. I smoked maybe a half a stick earlier this morning. At this stage, even this much smoking is poisonous for your health. I don't think that's what's causing it, Doc. I've been smoking my whole life and nothing's ever happened before. Then what do you think is the cause for your severe emphysema? It's the fucking chemicals at work. I'm gonna sue these motherfuckers. <clears throat> what type of work do you do? I'm a janitor. Oh, wait, wait, wait. A housekeeper. Okay. Uh, how long have you been a janitor? Three weeks. Only three weeks? Well, I was unemployed before that. So you want to sue your employer who offered you job and all the benefits through which you are eventually able to see a doctor. Nice. Really nice. Yeah. Nice, isn't it? And who gave you this brilliant idea? He did. Oh, Mr. Lawsuit. So, you see the ghost of Mr. Lawsuit as well? I thought I was the only one. He ain't no ghost. He's my brother, I mean, he's my guardian angel. Of course, he's the one who protects your right. I just tried to protect your life. So by all criteria, he's the man. Don't you think there could be a slightest chance that is the smoking, which is the number one risk factor associated with COPD, emphysema, lung cancer, that has damaged your lungs and not the chemicals? Or the chemicals are just irritating your already smoking-related damaged lungs? Hmm. Could be. So, would you like to seriously consider quitting... Quitting my job? I don't want you to quit your job. I want you to quit smoking. Okay, what's the plan? I'll give you nicotine gums. That leaves a shitty taste in my mouth. I'll give you nicotine patch. It f***ing burns my skin. How about Wellbutrin? It gives me f***ing nightmares. I don't think I'm ever, ever gonna quit smoking. Then I don't think I can ever help you. But you're a f***ing doctor. But you need to understand that I don't have a magic pill to fix all the damage done to your lungs over all these years with a snap of my fingers. So what the f*** did you go to med school for? Yeah, no, I also wonder why. Anyway, are you using the inhaler I prescribed to you last time? Nope. Why not? My insurance won't cover it. Then buy it on your own. That inhaler should help you with your breathing. I can't afford it. It's too f***ing expensive. So you have money to buy cigarettes, but not your medicine. <laughs> then what do you want me to do? <laughs> Thank you. I'll tell you what, I'll come back to the office tomorrow and you get me a lung transplant. Are you kidding me? Lungs, they don't grow on trees. First, you have to abstain from smoking for at least six months. Then you have to find a suitable donor. Then you have to be able to afford it. Only the procedure costs at least half a million dollars. And then the maintenance medications, they cost from 30 to 40 grand a year. You think you'll be able to afford all this, even through your insurance, having all the co-pays, deductibles, premium, and the co-insurance on board? Huh. I didn't think this transplant shit was so difficult. Hollywood's always made it seem so simple. 
What do you say, buddy? I'll tell you what. I will quit smoking. Yay, that's awesome. I, Wait. But just for six months, I'm going to quit my job. You're going to get me some public aid, and you're going to get me on that transplant list. And this way, I won't have to pay a single dime out of my pocket, and the stupid taxpayers will cover all my expenses for the rest of my life. After six months, I'll get my transplant, and then I can start smoking again. Isn't that fucking awesome? God bless America! Land... <laughs> According to data published on CDC website, tobacco use can cost more than $289 billion annually to the system. Out of that, $133 billion in direct medical care, $156 billion in productivity lost. This enormous amount of money can be saved and utilized in other productive investments like education only by stopping smoking.